From the roar of the crowd to the roar of the engines, this is Pit Pass, Pennsylvania's racing show. Pit Pass features all your favorite tracks, interviews, highlights, thrills and spills. And here are your hosts, Ron Fox and Jan Miller. Hello and welcome to Pit Pass. Now, as you may have already heard, America's Motorsports Park has ceased operations this season, and they plan to only do special events next season. The track is now for sale. Now, there were to have a race scheduled for this past Saturday, but the Connor Bobick Memorial, which was held the previous Sunday, that was the last race for the track this season. Mm -hmm. Now, this weekend, we went a little bit away from the norm. Yes, we did. On Saturday, we went to a go-kart track in Blairsville. Now, on Friday, we made the track to Williams Grove Speedway, where they hosted twin 20-lap A mains for the 410 sprints. In the first race, Gerald McIntyre Jr. in the black 16 would start on the pole position with the 19 of Brent Marks to his outside. As they work their way through turns one and two, Pat Cannon closes on Marks exiting the turn and the top three would run in that order for the first seven laps. That's when Ryan Wilson slowed on the backstretch to bring out the yellow flag. On the restart, Marks tries to stay right on the tail of McIntyre, but the 16 pulls away once they go back to green. Cannon appears to close on Marks exiting two, but falls back with Greg Hodnett just a few car lengths behind him. Hodnett would eventually take the third spot away from Cannon. As the laps wound down, McIntyre enjoyed a comfortable lead over Marks. But as they come down to complete lap 16, Marks has closed on McIntyre. Marks rides a cushion through one and two to take the lead and also to lap the 38 of Scott Wilson. In a battle for the fifth spot, Lance DeWeese pulls a slide job on the 16 of Adrian Schaefer. Schaefer brushes the wall, enabling the blue 69 of Donnie Kreitz Jr. to challenge him as well. Over the final four laps, Brent Marks would pull away from Gerald McIntyre Jr. to pick up his second win at the Grove this season. Well, congratulations on your win, Brent. Now, you said you were a little bit tight on the right rear? Yeah, we were a little too tight there for that uh, feature. And, uh, you know, when we, when, when we were in clean air there, you know, I just couldn't get up to uh, uh, the 16 car. And uh, I needed lap traffic. And luckily, we got into lap traffic. And, uh, you know, he just made some moves he shouldn't have made. And um, I was able to uh, prevail from it. So uh, I just needed lap traffic there to help me get, get to the lead. And luckily, uh, that's how it ended up. Well, you looked like you were riding high, like up onto the cushion. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I was, I was a little too tight there um, in the beginning up high. And I had to run the bottom and just had to let the uh, uh, track come to me a little bit there. And luckily, it widened up there and uh, loosened up a little bit. And um, I was able to keep my momentum up. And uh, the car, car kind of came to me there towards the end. So I was just kind of hanging on in the beginning there and waiting for things to come, come to me. But when the first caution happened, you were a little bit concerned? Yeah, I really didn't need that, you know, because we were gaining on lap traffic there and uh, the 16 was coming back to me, um, you know, and I, uh, I kind of wanted to get the lead there early, you know, only because I was tight and I seen the guys behind me that were coming and, and I didn't want to give them no opportunity to uh, get by me. So um, I wanted to make uh, the move as quick as I possibly could. And, um, you know, that, that yellow did hurt me because he, he, uh, he, he gained from me. The, pulled away from me there uh, after the yellow, but luckily when we got in the lap traffic, you know, he just kind of came back to me. So uh, my car stayed uh, pretty even the whole race. You know, it was it was, it was was tight the whole race, but it was good. You know, it was able to get us a win. So we were just able to uh, prevail from our starting spot. Well, you've had a good season so far. This is your fifth win? Yeah, yep, this is our fifth one this year. It's been up and down. We started out rough, um, went through a little too many cars. Uh, you know, we just uh, kind of been a win. Uh, win it or wear type of year for some reason you know I'm not really hard on equipment usually but this year we, we have been and I uh, just haven't been in the right right positions you know uh, throughout the year and uh, it's kind of caught me a little bit there so uh, but we're starting to turn things around um, now we're on our fifth win here this is like four wins in the past three weeks you know so it's been uh, pretty amazing well congratulations again Brent thank you appreciate it McIntyre, Hodnett, Cannon, and DeWeese round out the top five in the first A main at the Grove. Points leader Donnie Kreitz Jr. started on the point for the second 20 lap A main. Lance DeWeese would follow him going into turn one. DeWeese runs low and loses ground to Kreitz. Running in the third position is the 27 of Greg Hodnett. As they head into turn three, Hodnett dives low. 
Then exiting turn four, he pulls a slide job on DeWeese to claim the runner-up position. DeWeese would regain the spot, and two laps later, Hodnett pulls the same move. This time he pulls a wheelie in front of DeWeese, but saves it to reclaim second place. Adrian Schaefer in the green and white number 16 would lose fourth place to the 51 of Stevie Smith in the early going as Smith worked under him going through one and two. Throughout the first half of the race, Hodnett slowly began to reel in Kreitz. Then on lap 11, he dives under Kreitz going into turn one and has him cleared by the exit of turn two. Brent Marks flipped in turn one on lap 12 to bring out the red flag. He was okay. Hodnett, Kreitz, DeWeese, Smith, and Schaefer made up the top five as they restarted the race. It doesn't take long for the lead duo to distance themselves from the rest of the competitors. And Greg Hodnett will pull away from Donnie Kreitz Jr. over the course of the remaining laps to garner his third win at Williams Grove this season. Well, congratulations on your win, Greg. Now, um, before you caught up to Donnie, you and Lance really had a battle going on there. In fact, your car looked a little bit jacked up there on the front stretch. Yeah, we did. We had uh, a couple of slide jobs, and when I slid him down there, I was spinning the tires and caught that moisture in the front end, just jumped up out of the air and probably rode a wheelie about halfway down a straightaway. Fortunately for me, I didn't get into Lance, and uh, we were able to keep going, so uh, that was uh, not a whole lot of fun. Wouldn't want to do it again, but it worked out for us. What did it take for you to close in on Donnie? Um, Donnie was actually running off the cushion, and just he was he was running a really good pace. It was just not maybe as good as being on top of the cushion, um, which is kind of not really his forte. He kind of runs the middle and the bottom so well. But um, I think I just caught, got momentum by entering on top of it, getting in the corner, and uh, had a lot more speed by the time we got to the middle of the corner. So I think that was the biggest, biggest thing that let me catch up to him. Mm -hmm. Well, now you were the points leader, but then you went to Knoxville, and I know you're not a points chaser, but this certainly does put you back in the running. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, if we're close, we want to try to accomplish it. Um, I think Mike's still in the uh, points lead for an owner, so um, I've done that before. I think uh, the owner points, we won one year for Jim and Sandy, uh, even though I lost the driver points for going to Knoxville. But uh, hopefully we can catch back up. You know, this is, this is a good help to do that, um, so we're going to try to chip away that at it and if it works out for us obviously we're going to be very happy to uh, try to do it but like I said earlier on the front straightaway you know Donnie's he's just really good I mean you can't you can't ever uh, take anything for granted tonight we fared better but tomorrow we probably won't so you know we're just gonna do the best we can every night and if it works out for us that's great well we wish you the best thank you I appreciate it guys with his third and first place finishes Greg Hodnett closed the gap on points leader Donnie Kreitz Jr. Third through fifth were Smith, DeWeese, and Schaefer. Now later on in the show, we will go back to Williams Grove Speedway where the ARDC Midgets were celebrating their 75th anniversary, and we will have highlights from their feature. But up next, we go to Blairsville Speedway for some go-kart action from Saturday night. Keep it here. Pit Pass is brought to you by Milheim Small Engine, your local Husqvarna dealer, located just one mile west of Milheim. Pocono Raceway, the tricky triangle. Visit PoconoRaceway.com for tickets. And by Seagram's Escapes. Color your summer. What is it that makes a Husqvarna dealer a Husqvarna dealer? Well, just look close at the engineering in our outdoor power equipment. We're known for high performance and reliability in everything we make. So is it any wonder your Husqvarna dealer is also known for high performance and reliability in everything they do. With a nationwide network of Husqvarna dealers, there's one just around the corner. Milheim Small Engine and Hardware is located just one mile west of Milheim.